Hi there, we're going to be talking about the client portal in WorkMajig. And the client portal is a lot of times used by any of our internal marketing and creative departments. You need a way for those folks that are requesting projects of you to easily do so, but you also need to have an area so that they can see some process or communication with the projects that you're working on for them, or even maybe check in on past projects if they need to repeat something. Now, when we look at the client portal, we're going to have a couple different areas. We have our active projects, and the active projects are where we can see where we are, perhaps on projects that we currently are working on for those clients. They can drill into those projects and see a timeline, which is great to start educating our clients on what our process is. Helps them to be a little bit more, you know, maybe proactive with requesting projects of us. We can also communicate through the tool using the conversations in work -a -jig. This is a great way for them to be able to initiate a conversation about a project, but we can then make sure that it's part of the history of that project later on. When a client needs to request a project, they simply need to select the plus sign next to the project request word. When they select that plus sign, they're going to get a menu of different types of projects that they can request of the team. Each of these project requests are completely customizable. You can have as many or as few as you'd like, and each one can also have its own separate set of specifications. So what kind of brief type information would you need? And its own routing. So if different types of projects should be routed to different team members because of the nature of the project, it can be built right into the request form. When they choose what type of project they'd like to request, work -a jig is going to guide them right through the process. So they're not going to be wondering, how many screens do I need to fill out? It's pretty clear and it's very simple. All of the fields look like any other field that someone fills out every day. Now some of the information will default in for them. Obviously, work -a jig knows who they are because they logged into their client portal. They can also then add in a name. And if you'll notice, the due date on this request form was already populated. And the reason that is, is because on some of my project request forms, I know I need a minimum number of business days to get those types of projects done. So I can build that right into my request form. And that way, when someone goes to request that type of project, they know this is the soonest I can get this to you. Now, of course, there's going to be exceptions, but if we want to set some standards and we want to start educating folks about our process, this is a great way to do it. Step two is typically going to be, what kind of information do you need? And all of these fields are something that you get to create. So what they're called, what type of field they are, and if there's any kind of if-when scenarios you need, you can certainly establish those. You can also let work -a jig knows if any of these fields are required fields. If you have required fields, they'll have a little red dot next to the field name so that the person filling it out will recognize that, just like any other internet form. If they don't fill out all of the required fields, the system will let them know that they have a few fields that they need to complete before they can move forward. Step three is an easy way for them to go back and review any of the information or make updates provide an attachment so if they need to send a file along with that request, and then submit. Once it's submitted, it will clearly let them know that they're done and their request has indeed been successfully submitted to the team. As a client portal user, I can go about my day. And I'm certainly not required to babysit this information. If there's a change to the status of that request I just sent in, work -a will send me an email and let me know. Has it been approved? Or was it sent back? Is any action needed on my behalf to make this project happen?